And remember that they're changing my voice. So there's no shortage of gay so-called martial artists who superimpose their gay spirit on martial arts. It's it's more than their body shape, you know, and it's a bit confusing about why they're shaped the way they are, you know, but it has to do with Greco-Roman breeding to a large degree. And, you know, they do very immature stuff here. And if you look at the, um, the Attorney General, Merrick Garland, it's not a coincidence that AG, Attorney General, backwards is gay, right, without the Y, you know, with sounds applied. And you get gay R land and gear land when you do the wordplay, among other things, right? Land is DNA L, mentally L, L the Canaanite deity. What have you? Okay, and the word agree is gear E for, you know, emasculate, effeminate, sissy, funny, wussy, all these words, right? Or gear A for alpha. And the true alpha of all mankind, obviously, is someone of Nigerian patriarchal descent. It's me, the real African Falcon top martial artist. So it's clear that a key part of the story is that they keep trying to superimpose their gay spirit on me. And they've been fuming and poisoning me. And there's a bunch of gay tech people in, the, in California. You know, one of the major tech centers of the world. Who are using technology, fumes and poisons with 23 witnesses on record to run psyops on me including changing my shape and the sound of my voice and you know these tech guys they own google they own youtube they own all these things right it's a bunch of kind of jewish nerds gay guys white supremacists they have some connection to the english right king charles and the nutcracker coronation their fairy way of doing things what have you and so i think you know everyone who's like a serious person um or or close to it right you know can only be so serious while playing the game but a lot of people try to be more serious they know that i'm right Every serious gangster, uh, gangster in um, California would immediately know that I'm right. Every serious gangster in America would immediately know that I'm right. People in the military, if they're being honest, especially in military science departments, would immediately know that I'm right. So it's not like this is crazy. They know that I'm right. This is 2024. If anyone doubts it, say, look, it's 2024. You're like schizophrenic or psychotic or something if you refuse to admit the possibility. Then when you get the 23 witnesses on record, it's like, well, this guy must be telling the truth, right? So it's fucking retarded for them to just keep doing what they're doing to no avail. And they make this kind of rapist, pedophile, clown face. They make William Gacy the serial killer faces. They make kind of mad TV faces, Ronald McDonald faces. And they think it's cute why kids are getting raped, you know, disproportionately by the gay community. And I'm not trying to bash the gay community in this video, but certainly... They're not, my, they're not on my side and I'm not on their side. Okay? But it doesn't mean they should be persecuting me. I'll never understand why they, they, as a community, they won't rally and admit that they've done wrong here. Why they'd rather accept the disgrace of playing a key part in persecuting me. The English, the Germans, the people of German descent, rather. Uh, Americans. Um... The churches, the mosques, the synagogues, they, they all played really more of the mosques and the, excuse me, the, really more of the synagogues and the churches. And the gay community, they all played a huge part in persecuting me, the LGBT community in general. Huge part, military, what have you. Certain groups were, were disproportionately involved. You know, psychologists. And so when you look at that, right, and you look at the pictures on the screen, yes, the gay person couldn't possibly be the top martial arts any more than the white or the Jew. Or people who, you know, conform to the world, like people who go to church and people who work for churches and, and synagogues and mosques. I mean, you know, little kids could tell you this. People in the military could be because they're not built for that. They're not mentally, you know, strong enough for that. And they're not cut from the same cloth as a top martial arts, a valid top martial arts. And I'm the top martial arts ever possible. Now, if you don't want to be chastised, then stop provoking me. Stop doing things they have to do with military grade provocations, military grade psychology, military grade psychological provo provocations. You know, it's very immature. It's very pathetic. And even little girls, if they saw this video, they would believe me. And they say, why don't those people fucking grow up? And they're representing for their races and the LGBT community. It's fucking disgraceful. It's, it's pitiful. You know, you imagine you're a serious Nigerian man. Okay, the son of, you know, or, or second generation Nigerian mulatto. And you're seeing these, these immature racist Jews and whites who are like frat guys and they're in the military and they're doing weird dances and they're hazing each other. And you're like, man, grow the fuck up, man. Grow up. And stop harassing me. And they're like, well, change his foot. How about now? How about now? He sounds weird. He sounds corny. Can you imagine? Man, I'm, I'm you know, 
pay me what you owe me and I'm out of this country real fast. Even though a lot of, you know, every other country in the world is corrupt too. I'm sick of these immature Americans harassing me every day while they're raping people, while they don't care how many of their family members are raped and killed and drugged by the state. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of their cowardice. I'm sick of their immaturity.